Hi, I'm Jale. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Sagittarius. All aspects. Let's have a look to see what we need to let you guys know about. Sagittarius, please, spirit. Okay. There's some kind of a second chance. Someone reaching out. Hmm. And a lasting promise. Some kind of past situation could be coming back around or wanting to come back around, offering something. Uh, let's have a look. Sagittarius energy, please. Sagittarius energy, please. Sagittarius for YouTube, please. Okay, so this is not... Con this isn't a soul contract. This is like illusionary energy here. Hang on, let's have a look. We've got the moon. Someone's coming... They're, they're coming back because they're upset and they want a resolution to balance an argument after something. They want to, yeah, they, they, they don't feel happy with how things have gone. They want to come back and have a conversation and be honest about why things happened the way they did. That's how I want to say it. Someone wants to come in and be honest about why things happened the way they did. I actually feel like this is a positive connection for some of you. Okay, you're good. The communication you're going to get, it is going to feel. Certainly, with the connection I'm picking up, is it's a valid one. It's not just BS, you know. It does feel valid um, for those that resonate. Let's have a look. Someone's got abandonment issues. That's why they did it. This person's a runner. They ran. They've got abandonment issues. They have codependency issues and abandonment issues. Maybe you do too. Maybe they are mirroring each other. Watch for that. Try and heal that in you and then it will help the other person. Uh, Sagittarius, please. What else for Sagittarius? What else for Sagittarius, please? Okay, we've got money. This is possible twin flame energy here. Yeah, wanting to make up for things. Show me more for Sagittarius. Pisces energy as well. Could have some Pisces placements. Neptune, the moon. I feel like someone deterred them. I feel like someone's thrown threw them off balance or something was thrown off balance for this. Why is all the cards going like that? <laughs> yeah. I feel like maybe, you know, when you have the old adage, you don't know what you've got until it's gone. It feels like this. Right. Show me more, please, for Sagittarius. Yeah. Um, there could be some kind of practicality that needs to be looked at, like about independence. So what they're saying is don't just jump into something because it's like, oh, well, you know, we can just buddy up and like pull resources and stuff like that. Do it only if you know this person's healed. But there is an opportunity to do that. But just make sure that you're still gaining independence and keeping independence. Right, anything else? Yeah, this person's going to be... What is that? This person's going to come across as very enthusiastic. We've got bluff. Show me what, what is this bluff? What is this bluff energy? Why are they? Is it legit or not legit? Why is this suddenly turned into something else? Ooh, is this legit? What happened? Something about ego. What happened? What is this bluff energy? Why are they bluffing? What is this protection? for Sagittarius please okay they may come in and sell this stuff and then you, unless you keep that and maintain that independence and maintain the need for that code like lack of you know independence don't be codependent fixing inner child issues um you know fixing this there's possible abandonment issues then it will be okay However, they could come forward and say a lot of good things and then you get into it and realise that they haven't really done the healing. If at that point you do discover that, you know, it's, they haven't done the healing, that is not a key to be like, well, I'm just going to throw it away. What it's saying to you is, first of all, is this a valid connection? 
is it something that's in your highest and best interest? And if it is, what healing do you need to do? Whatever you do, do not go into this and be like, well, I'm just going to throw it under the bus because I can't be bothered with this. Because the light and the scissors are mirroring in you that you need to fix as well. So if you just be like, no, then you're missing out on an opportunity. Because what Spirit is saying here is that you need to go within and heal. Then that person will also go within and heal. And then you guys can come back together. But if you keep, like rebuild something and then just like don't have any independence, there's a codependency, there's no one really moving, the same outcome will happen where it will just be cut short and you're not going to know why because you're not meant to be in that energy, especially when it comes to money. Especially if this is a deep level soulmate and or twin flame connection. Don't just blindly go into this hoping that it's going to be okay. If you feel like this person needs healing still, don't have to say no, but just take it slowly. Do your own healing. Just observe them doing theirs and just take your time. Have patience. Don't demand and be like, well, why isn't it happening now? Probably because you need to heal as well. Do it by the book spirit is trying to do this yeah look clean it up it doesn't have to be a no it just needs to be balanced it just needs to be more fair more more calibrated in balance Sagittarius please yeah look this is gonna yield good results right but you do need to fix some things first now you may sit there and be like I don't want to do that why can't you just be ready well I mean I'm not perfect are you because this will go round and round and round in circles if it isn't looked at, right? Um, they're trying to help you resolve the reason that this did break down in the first place and not repeat situations. Right, show me more for Sagittarius, please. What else for Sagittarius? Secret admirer is this person. You're probably like maybe sussing them out on social media thinking, am I being stalked on social media? Yes, probably. There's also potential for someone new, okay? And if it's not this person, someone from the past, there's possibly someone new coming in who maybe you're going to have to look at the same way as what I've just said. So it's either not someone new or someone coming back from the past, could even be both, and you're going to have to use discernment about their healing journey, where they're at on that, and don't rush it, okay? And apply the same information as I gave before for that. Something important such as a new job or a raise. So lots of new... And you're on the road to success. So there's a lot of new here going on that you're in right now. This abundant energy. Right. Sagittarius energy, please. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius. Synergy. So it's like you're alchemizing things to get things done. You're, you're building some energy or you're clearing energy from a past that is allowing you to create something new and or have new opportunities or fix or heal. So there's a very strong alchemical energy going on here with this. Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please. Okay, so somebody feels like it was a mission or it's taking too long or something like that. There is something positive at the end of this with the ring. Okay, it's about understanding the journey. Don't don't rush it. If you're not sure of what this is about, take your time. Don't rush into anything if you're not sure how to go about this. And observe, you know, make sure you're building your own independence as well. Sagittarius, please. Possibly we've got someone with addictive behaviour patterns, codependency, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block or restraint. Make sure that if this is new and or something old, they're not coming back in with some kind of addictive energy yeah meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted friendship so take it slow you don't have to rush chase it in a codependent relationship fear of abandonment issue so it's confirming the same thing someone's got a fear of abandonment that needs to be looked at first of all welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect and soulmates so there's a partnership and soul contract here but it depends how you handle this now, to be honest. That's going to be entirely dependent on what you do next. If you're not in an energy where it's, you know, healthy, it will be harder for you to maintain it. Let's have a look. What else, please, for Sagittarius? Freedom and gratitude. So if you've been in a similar problem or the same situation, there is... They, this is being given to you to gain freedom so you don't repeat the same things. It's meant to help. Um, so that you're happy, you know. Sagittarius, please. 
25th is going to be important. Number 25. Number 8th, 25th of August could be significant. Say yes and number 13. 13th of August. And February is significant. Two days could be significant. Two hours could be significant. Two weeks, two months. Where are we going here, Spirit? Where are we going to go with this? Why do, I, why do I feel like I want to pour some more about this? Right. Okay, let's see. Sagittarius, please. What else for Sagittarius? What else for Sagittarius, please? Sagittarius. Right, so there could have been blame in the past, or they could, if this is an old person, they, or maybe you're still in that energy, where there was blame and there was things that were unfair, that you felt victimised, maybe there was an imbalance or karmic avoidance, there's going to be success. Again, if it's not an old sort of person coming back to kind of clarify and clear things, it's new, okay, there's a new energy. Can you give me some information on the new, please? Can you... Wow. This could be an earth sign. This is somebody who's evolved or is on the track of being, becoming evolved. This is somebody who's kind of exciting and a bit charismatic. Could be a fire energy, creative, playful, likes to travel, bit of a free think, a bit of a... In a negative energy, a bit of a maverick. In a higher energy, a, 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 someone that enjoys life. Right. Whoa. This is someone who's looking for balanced. So for some of you, this is going to be very balanced. For others of you, it's like that's where it's going into. It's like you're building this. Sagittarius, please. Yeah. And again, it's like there could have been a past situation with you or this person, if it's someone coming back from the past, there was there was an emotional immaturity, someone a bit moody, maybe you were fed up of manipulative people or someone, maybe they ghosted you. Maybe you were upset from that. You had to withdraw. They withdraw quite a lot. This person was in their, their energy. Their, um, what do you want to say about that? Can I press this in your press? Yeah. This person, if it is someone from the past, was divided about it. There could have been a third party or friends, family that were involved or an old partner or just someone in their life that was causing dis discord. But they're coming back to give truth. Now, if that's a new person, this could be what they're coming out of. OK, so just use discernment. OK, let's wrap this up because this is kind of straightforward, this energy, which is what we like. OK, what else, please? Anything else for Sagittarius? So this is a lot of opportunities here, a lot of distinctly different opportunities and or an opportunity from the past coming back. And it's, again, coming to life. So things are starting to take shape here in your in your journey, in your in your world. Things are becoming a reality, new, new energy. Right, anything else, please? Sagittarius, please. intuition and downloads and expect miracles if this is someone coming back from the past or someone new you're going to have a sense of this before it happens and i don't know why but i saw 12 24 uh it could be a time look on the clock if that happens and you meet this person at 12 24 please let me know like but it looked it felt to me like a 24 hour clock you could be in different time zones as well that's the other thing i want to say right anything else last card for saggies Last card for Saggies. Life force, express your driving passion. You guys are going to be both be very passionate, creative and individuals. And Shekinah, the sacred self. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance the sacred rhythm of life. This person unlocks you. They unlock your creative abundance. They uh, unlock your flow or it will do once you're developing this connection. I want to get one more because I feel like it's not. I want to end. Last card for Sagittarius, please. That's beautiful. Look, expect miracles and patience. Okay, so if you're like, oh my goodness, it's going to be for me. I'm waiting on somebody I've waited for four years. Please just carry on as you are. Don't wait, but um, definitely expect miracles. 
All right, guys, that was your reading. Thanks for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions. It means a lot to me. Until next time, take care.